up locally owned businesses, most of the money you spend with them stays right here in our community. Locally owned and operated businesses give our community character by offering unique options for shopping and dining. They are a big part of what makes living in the 904 so great. Shop the 904. Powered by Cox Media Group. Join forces with Operation New Uniform by purchasing a ticket to their sixth annual Heroes Gala with special guest Oliver North. Hi, I'm Oliver North, and I'm recruiting you to join me at Operation New Uniform's sixth annual Heroes Gala on November 8th. Come with me to honor our military servicemen and women and enjoy a night to remember. Purchase your ticket today at OperationNewUniform.org. That's OperationNewUniform.org. Two wheels, a little time to cut loose, and some buddies who have your back. That feeling you get from chasing thrills with some friends is what Harley-Davidson is all about. The adventures you can have in an afternoon can make the kind of stories that turn into legends. A Harley costs less than you think, and our riding academy makes learning to ride easy. Check it out today at your dealer. Live your legend. Adam Mac Harley-Davidson. Get out and ride. What happens when a small business encounters an unplanned interruption such as a client work stoppage or supplier production outage? The impact can be devastating, but help is not far away. SCORE volunteers provide free mentoring to small business entrepreneurs on a wide range of business topics in addition to workshops and since 1960, it's been helping thousands of people seeking solutions to critical business issues. If you want to schedule an appointment with one of our counselors, go to jacksonville.score.org. Hey, Sean Hannity here. My good friends at HustlerTurf.com. I love these guys. Since 1964, Hustler Turf has been engineering and making zero-turn lawnmowers right here in the good old USA. Professional landscapers, homeowners, they all rely on Hustler's trademark, smooth track steering. They're durable, welded steel decks. They're premium reinforced seats that provide a far superior ride with ultra comfort. Now, these top-of-the-line mowers allow you to mow faster, more efficiently, and this is good for professionals as well. That means more money in your pocket. With nearly 1,400 dealers now nationwide, go to HustlerTurf.com to find the one near you. Find Hustler Zero Turn Lawn Mowers at Express Mower Parts in East Jacksonville. Search Express Mowers on your smartphone or computer or visit ExpressMowerParts.com. That's ExpressMowerParts.com. Now, the WOKV First Alert Forecast. Windy today with on and off heavy showers and thunderstorms. Highs between 80 and 85, a 5 on the WOKV weather meter. Breezy with a lingering shower early tonight, then clearing. will drop into the 60s and a mostly sunny and pleasantly warm Sunday. Highs in the low 80s. Monday will be partly cloudy, warmer, more humid with a scattered afternoon shower or thunderstorm. Highs in the low to mid 80s. Tuesday, breezy with scattered showers and storms near 85. And Wednesday, cooler and less humid as we clear out and highs will be in the mid-70s. From the First Alert Weather Center, I'm actually News Jacks, Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish for News 104.5 WOKV. Helping to make our community a better place. This is the WOKV Ask the Experts Weekend. Discussing things that matter most to you. Have a question? Have it answered by our local experts. Now, the Home and Garden Show with Wally Conway and Larry O'Neill on News 104.5 WOKV. Welcome back to the Home and Garden Show 635. Grateful that you're with us. I'm Wally Conway from Home Pro Inspections. Larry O'Neill from Larry's Garden is here with me. The only thing that would make our morning better is you. Love to hear from you. That number is 855-765-1045. Special shout out to those of you listening at WOKV.com, the WOKV app from all around the world. Also, those uh, enjoying the live stream on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. For some unknown reason, there's a little bit of a scramble at uh, one of the Facebook feeds. Uh, the audio is coming through, not the video, but... That's okay. Just switch on over to another, and uh, and we'll stay there with you and and continue to enjoy the day. The uh, we uh, yeah created an interesting relationship uh, recently. It's it's a long term relationship that's changed format, <laughs> and that's uh, with Priority Lab. You know, very often at, okay. at, at at Home Pro on the residential side or Monument Commercial Building Inspections, there's a need for <clears throat> due diligence that relates to uh -huh. environmentals. Um, sometimes a, a person says, "Gosh, I I think that my popcorn ceiling could contain asbestos." You're like, hmm. 
Would you come look at it? No, we'll come look at it, but it needs, that's an analysis by the lab. So you take right. a sample and send it off priority lab. What about those home that, tests? Are they fairly good off the, you know? Dip, there's a yes and a no to that. Right. It's, and here's the yes and the no. Depending what you're testing for right. and and how you choose to interpret it, this is a great question. I'm glad you asked it. Mm -hmm. There, There's somewhere between reasonable and worthless. Right. The, <laughs> okay. In the worthless category would be the do-it-yourself mold test. You, you, most of yeah, the big yeah. box stores have yeah. them where you, you purchase this thing. It's, it's a Petri dish. You open it up. Right. You put a cover on it after some number of days and send it off to the lab, and they tell you what molds have grown. 100% worthless. Totally you, you worthless. Don't have a benchmark. Yes. So there's, there's mold spores everywhere. They're in right. this studio. They're in your home, my home, in your car. There's mold everywhere. So mold spores will absolutely fall into the Petri dish and grow, and you'll know what type. But what you don't know is what is the concentration, and how does that concentration compare to the outside air? So the proper modality is you take an air sample of the outside. That determines the what fresh air is. It's a benchmark. So you'll know what species of mold are natural in the environment on this day at this location, and in what concentration. That's a very important piece. Right. Then you take one or more on the inside, goes off to the lab. What species are, are being uh, discovered on the inside and in what concentration? And then you compare those to the fresh. There should be no species of mold growing in your house. It's not natural to fresh air. That makes perfect sense. Right. And the concentration of the molds that are natural in the fresh air should not uh, be exceeded by the concentration on the inside. That's very, very simple. Right. So for that reason, that home test is worthless. It's, it. it's completely worthless. In other things, it, it can sometimes be The reasonable. main thing is you've got to know what type of spores or molds growing outside the, it's in the, a natural environment. The concentration. Really, right. The is concentration. really... Is, and some types only want to grow in those, you know, dark, dank, you know, places. Yeah, different molds are associated and, with different temperature are profiles. Those are not going to be healthy for you. Depends. You know. Stachybotrys is the one that gets people's attention. Uh, media kind of folks and people who are prone to hysteria will call that black mold or right. toxic mold. Right. Well, there's 10,000 different species of mold, and right. a bunch of them are black. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing that happens with molds, they're kind of communal critters. Right. So it, it's relatively rare to have a singular species in any mm -hmm. one sample. Mm -hmm. So Oh, it, no, you'd have many They're, they're all species. in yeah. there together, so it's figuring it out. The key, though to the whole situation is managing moisture. Right. It's, it's very, very, very rare, bordering on impossible, to have a mold problem inside of a home unless you also have a moisture but problem. If you have, let's say, these older houses where, you know, built in 18th century, I mean, 17th century, they, they leaked like sieves. I mean, they never had mold problems. They never. They, because yeah. the home the could home breathe. It leaked. <laughs> it, it, well, breathe, leak, call it what you will. If it, whatever leaked in, leaked out. It dried right. out, both in an air sense and a right. moisture so sense. There's always fresh air coming in and out of the house. Yes. Even when the door was closed. Yeah. Correct. When th and the other thing that we did back in the old days... Well, no several. insulation. They didn't have any insulation. No insulation. That allowed the, the inside air to better connect to the outside. And in, in summer, all the windows were open, so we were freshening right. and drying the house. And then in the winter, you know, we had coal-fired furnace dry and fireplaces. Drying out. Very warm and very dry. Right. So it dried it out. What do we do now? We create these boxes. We basically live inside Yeti coolers right. when you think about it. They're, right. they're insulated and they don't breathe very well. So what happens is we're, we're, we must condition and control the air, principally the moisture. We tend to concentrate on temperature, but moisture is the big deal. Right. And then all the things you do in the house impact that, that moisture load. So if, if you live alone in your home, you have a significantly lower moisture load than if you have six people in your right. home. The way your body aspirates, Washing the way clothes, you bathe, you cook, you clothe, right. a tremendous cooking, moisture load. Stuff. So that your air conditioning system and the modalities that you use to manage your indoor air are different. Mm -hmm. it, and uh, most people don't really consider that or respect that. And even most air conditioning people don't think it through. The, there's a vast difference between air conditioning and building science. Mm -hmm. So the typical air conditioning contractor, they look at their system and they look at it in a bit of isolation. 
Mm-hmm. You know, well, what about the windows? What about the home in- orientation? What about the number of occupants? What about range hoods? What about all these other things? It's a system that functions together, which is why, you know, one family can be perfectly happy and comfortable in a home and the family next door is uncomfortable because they're using that system differently. Right. It's kind of weird. Yes. It's kind of weird. But uh, anyway, so our relationship with Priority Lab has uh, really increased our ability for sampling diagnostics in a rapid turnaround. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting, especially in a real estate transaction. Chain of custody is everything. And it's another reason do-it-yourself tests are not a good thing. There's no chain of custody and there's no uh, objectivity. It, it's, you, you really can't use it in a real estate transaction. But with our, our relationship with Priority Lab, the entire chain of custody lives in an app on a smartphone. So the lab actually receives all of the data instantly as we're beginning to take the sample, they actually have the data before the sample's taken. Then as soon as the sample's there, it's all coded in this magical way. So it comes in, they scan it. Now the lab immediately knows what data goes with that sample. That is, you know, name, address, humidity, all those other things. <clears throat> they take the sample and the instant the sample's complete, it feeds right into the data and it's delivered instantaneously back to us to deliver to the customer. So we've probably chopped a good, I don't know, 24 to 48 hours out of the process through the, the use of, of, of the tech. So rapid delivery, rapid delivery, rapid there delivery. There you go. It's about rapid delivery. Well, it's especially yeah. important in a real estate transaction. Right. You, you typically have a, a window on the residential side. It's about a 10-day window for your due diligence. Commercial, uh, it can be 30, 60, 90 days or more, depending on the complexity of the building. But the point of it is when you, when you need information, due diligence, you need it now. You need it accurate. And... Uh, the relationship between Priority Lab and Home Pros, excuse me, helped us to do that. And the guy that um, is the principal at Priority Lab is an absolute genius, Dr. Shane. Dr. Shane? Yeah, I, to say he's a mad scientist would be inappropriate because he's he a, a wonderful, delightful man. He? He's a, a PhD in microbiology okay. with a concentration in mold. I mean, he's a... He's the guy in a national sense. I'll tell you how cool he is in mold. A few years back. (laughs) You're a cool guy in mold, Dr. (laughs) He is. He's the guy. Like at a mold conference and Dr. Shane walks in. Look at that mold. That's Dr. (laughs) Shane from Priority Lab. Uh, And I'm like, yeah, I know that dude. uh But anyway, a few years back, there was an accusation inside of the NFL by one team that another team was messing with the air in the locker room. And, and there was a, an accusation that they were infusing the locker room with some type of mold or other biologics to uh, impede the play of opposition teams. <laughs> oh, I mean, it makes inflate gate seem... Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay. Essentially, one team was accusing another team of biological warfare inside of an NFL locker room. And Dr. Shane was called in as the consultant okay. to evaluate the air... Um, for, for various biological and What was ages. the conclusion of all this? There, uh, there was nothing there. there. It, it turned out there was, <laughs> it was, you know, it wasn't real. But they, they had to compare the air, you know, the fresh air to what was inside the locker room of the visitors and what's inside the, the yeah. locker room of that team. And then that caused them to think, well, let's take a look at some other teams around the NFL. So when, <laughs> when you are the alpha mold dude, as Dr. Shane is at Priority Lab, a lot of interesting thing comes up. Yeah. And, it, and when you're winning, and, and the, uh, well, we practice hard there and we lost. A, <laughs> and, 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 uh, he's a fascinating guy. And, and the whole thing fascinates me. But and, and he collects books a, a rare books on microbiology. Yeah. And when you're in, anything in niches gets very expensive. Right. So he's got this collection of fantastic books in his office, some of which are so valuable, you know, they're in these special plastic containers and so nothing mm-hmm. happens to them. And he's on the hunt for a book. It's called Penicillium. Mm-hmm. Uh, penicillin. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Penicillium by this uh, gentleman named Dr. Steiner. I believe the book is from the 70s. But this is the Rosetta Stone. uh, You would would think. Right. But apparently the few copies that were published, Mm -hmm. those that have survived, uh, no one ever parts with one. 
So if anyone knows a microbiologist or you have old books on your library. Oh, wow. Did you be the guy's hero? Steiner. Yeah, I, I, I would you love get to, some serious discount for that. I would love to purchase that for my friend so he uh, can yeah. have that. Each time I see him, I see him three or four times a year. I'm like, yeah. hey, Doc Shane, did you did you get penicillin yet? He goes, no, that's that just evades me. <laughs> you know, too, I, I'm just fascinated by all this. Yeah. You know, we're, we do a lot of mold sampling, and, right. and then I get kind of into the backstories of it. But they're, they're discovering new molds on a, a near daily basis. Oh, yeah. So they'll... Well, funguses, funguses, oh, molds priority lab. Are, you know, just they're here know. in Florida, but they collect samples from from all, all over, over the, the country. World. Yeah, and they do thousands and thousands of samples every day. And and uh, I've been down there inside the lab and looked at stuff with them. And and uh, every now and then, you know, one of the technicians will say, "Doc Shane, Doc Shane, I I got something on the slide. I don't know what it is." And and that thrills Doc Shane. One, he gets to mentor one of the lab technicians, but more importantly, it's the opportunity to put his eyeball on an unidentified species. And he's actually, you know, done that numerous times. Wow. Would cool. you like one named after you? Uh, sure, why not? Penis, <laughs> Penicillin Larius O'Neillus? Uh, yes, yes, that would be good. <laughs> I could say something's named after me. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, Do you have any plants named after you? No, no. Have no. you thought about hybridizing something and, and naming I d- it? Actually, I've paused. I was doing a patent on a cultivar of juniper that I, I've been, you know, but I started it and I never finished it. Aside from the economics and the ego of, right. of doing that, what what was the singular distinguishing difference that you were attempting to hybridize into the juniper? Uh, narrow column, narrow column. More yeah. narrow? Yeah, juniper Virginia and silicosis, which is our native variety, but having it more narrow because it gets really broad as it yeah. gets old. But, you know, something for a substitute for Italian cypress uh-huh. or close to it. So a project like that, is that a three-year, a 10-year, a 20-year project? It's about... Because uh, you're constantly... All, it's, all it's, it's, it takes 10, 15 years. You know, 10, yeah, you really got to yeah. You really gotta want yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. However... Gotta, when a hybrid is or, successful, or you can, you know, the you can be walking through the woods and say, "Oh, that's a uh, an, an unique tree, a genetic mutation." You could take that and collect it uh, if it if you can get a seed, grow it, identify it, and then you can patent that. And so that you can either your property. Uh, you can either work on a specific hybrid for 20 or years lucky. or spend 20 years walking through the woods. Yeah. And, and, you, and you may get it and first you, day. You, you'll probably find something. Huh. You know what I mean? Just by exploring, looking for those unique. Um, probably, I'd say, of uh, all the trees that are available, those particular cultivars, uh, they're going to be a chance find. Probably yeah. about 60% of them. But the, the commercial rewards for a hybrid that becomes... Popular is gar- what do you figure gar- the value if of you the, get one that's the knockout popular? Rows, what do you figure the value of that is to oh, the person? Oh, god, that the, I think the guy a hundred uh, million, oh, million? more than that, hundreds of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions. They probably sell in the United States probably 10 million knockout roses every couple of years, and he's getting a couple bucks for every one that's sold. That's not That's bad. not including Europe and every... I may start taking more walks in the woods. <laughs> it's 6.50 here at News 104.5 on Home and Garden Show. Brief break, jumping right on the phones to your calls at 855-765-1045. Stay with us. Right back. Yeah, can you imagine that? Two dollars. I don't even have to do nothing. This is where Jacksonville turns first for breaking news, severe weather, and traffic alerts. News 104.5 WOKV. Find us on the iHeartRadio app. Listen every weekday morning from 5 until 9 a.m. for the latest breaking news. The exclusive five-day forecast from Action News Jack's first alert chief meteorologist, Mike Burris. And get triple team traffic every six minutes. Everywhere you go, listen using the iHeartRadio app for Apple and Android. At Fair and Fair, everybody has a team working on their case. When you hire one attorney at Fair and Fair, you're really hiring 60. We make ourselves very accessible. They've hired us to do a job. To help take away some of those burdens. And that job doesn't always end at 5 o'clock. We take their problems and we make them ours. Because they need help. When you're in for the legal fight of your life, you want a team that has that kind of commitment and stability. We will be there. 
We're here for you. That's what I'm here to do is help. Farrah and Farrah, here for you, here for good. Jacksonville. Attention retirees participating in the state of Florida state group health insurance program. Open enrollment starts October 14th. So check out your new plan options today. Like the My Florida Group Medicare Advantage PPO plan offered by United Healthcare. It gives you access to coverage nationwide, including dental, vision, and hearing aid coverage, plus a free gym membership. The My Florida Group Medicare Advantage plan by United Healthcare combines your hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage into one convenient plan with one member ID card. To learn more, call Call United Healthcare at 1 877 352 7794 or visit www.uhcretiree.com forward slash my Florida. That's 1 877 352 7794 or www.uhcretiree.com forward slash my Florida. Plans are insured through United Healthcare Insurance Company or one of its affiliated companies, a Medicare Advantage organization with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in the plan depends on the plan's contract contract renewal with Medicare. What's up, Jacksonville? Angie here, president of Angie Staffing. If you're finding it harder and harder to find the right candidates or your ads are letting you down, call me, Angie Staffing, 904-703-8880. I have over 20 years of experience right here in Jacksonville. I can help with anything, accounting, finance, legal, even that one position that's impossible to fill. Angie Staffing, 904-703-8880. We're bringing back the hustle. Hey, it's Mark Hay from the Mark Hay Show for OpenDoor.com. And if you live in Jacksonville and you've ever been curious what your home is worth, there's a couple of ways to do it. Put it on the market, get a real estate agent, have people come through, make you offers, and then you get kind of a loose idea of what your home is worth. Or something that's a lot easier and a lot more effective is to go to OpenDoor.com slash my offer. Hundreds of thousands of people have gone to OpenDoor.com and received an all-cash offer. And here in Jacksonville, what they do is they take some information that you give them. You answer questions about yourself and your home and your neighborhood and then they uh, cross-reference it with actual Jacksonville properties and market valuations and within 24 hours they give you an all-cash offer that you can a accept and sell your home to them in as little as 50 in as little as uh, 14 days or as many as 60 depending on what you want or you can just say hey that's great now I know the value of my home and you can go along your merry way but you can't do any of it unless you go and get your free offer at opendoor.com slash my offer opendoor.com slash my offer offer eligibility vary these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA this product is not intended to diagnose treat cure or prevent any disease introducing the anti-aging breakthrough of the century telos 95 a revolutionary telomere supplement proof to lower human cellular age by seven years on average and lengthen telomeres by an astounding 80%. As we age, we lose telomere length, and that's a big part of what causes us to look older and why we feel the effects of aging. Telos 95 stops the clock of aging with one simple 95 milligram capsule daily. Telos 95 is clinically proven to reverse the effects of aging. Want a free 30 count bottle to sample? Log on to longevitybynature.biz and enter coupon code TELOS95. Get a free 30 count bottle today at longevitybynature.biz. Enter coupon code TELOS95 and roll back the aging process today. The fountain of youth can be found at longevitybynature.biz by entering coupon code TELOS95, spelled T-E-L-O-S 95. Now, the WOKV First Alert Forecast. Windy today with on and off heavy showers and thunderstorms. Highs between 80 and 85, a 5 on the WOKV weather meter. Breezy with a lingering shower early tonight, then clearing will drop into the 60s and a mostly sunny and pleasantly warm Sunday. Highs in the low 80s. Monday will be partly cloudy, warmer, more humid with a scattered afternoon shower or thunderstorm. Highs in the low to mid 80s. Tuesday, breezy with scattered showers and storms near 85. And Wednesday, cooler and less humid as we clear out and highs will be in the mid 70s. From the First Alert Weather Center, I'm Action News Jack, Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish for News 104.5 WOKV. Helping to make our community a better place. This is the WOKV Ask the Experts Weekend. Discussing things that matter most to you. Have a question? Have it answered by our local experts. Now, the Home and Garden Show with Wally Conway and Larry O'Neill on News 104.5 WOKV.
Welcome back to the Home and Garden Show. It is 656 here. Things are lovely. Love to hear from you. 855-765-1045. Special shout out to our friends listening at WOKV.com, the WOKV app, wherever you are in the universe, including our friends on the International Space Station, right. who have continued not to call. I have made the offer to NASA and the International Space Station. We will receive that call. Collect. Producer standing by. We got that. It's on my personal credit card. If you'd like to call from the International Space Station. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Please do so. For the rest of you, it is toll free at 855-765-1045. Yeah. Hey, you know what's the oldest living cells? The oldest living cells. Yeah, it could be the oldest living cells. And, you know, oldest living cells, and, uh, they live the longest. I'm going to guess it's some cell found deep in the ground in, a, in some mine. No, no, it's palm tree cells. You know, the, really? palm tree, the cells of a palm tree, you know, the molecular cells, you know, yeah. the tissue are the oldest living cells. I, I don't understand what you mean by but that. They, they don't regenerate. That they live the longest before they long regenerate. Long time. Oh, it stays long. How long do they live? Some of them are living in 50, 60 years. You know, a what singular I mean? so, cell. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. doesn't happen for people, right? We're, no, we're no, we sloughing regenerate. it off all the so, time. The fountain of youth may be right there in front of us. In the uh, the uh, what? Why it does that? You know, uh -huh. it's able to live a very, very long time. Well, that uh, new growth of the palm tree is right. said to be saw palmetto and things mm -hmm. of that sort. Mm -hmm. That's a palm type, right? Palmetto. Right. Palmetto. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. said to be very good for your prostate health and, yeah. and other things. Yeah. It yeah. tastes good too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Have you eaten, tried it? Oh yeah. Oh, I haven't tried it. Yeah, when I was uh, in my Navy pilot days in survival school. Uh -huh. Uh, I went to several survival schools, yeah. but in particular out in the panhandle, eating those little scrubby saw palmettos, you, you, you break it down until you get to that center little heart. Soft heart. It looks a little bit like an artichoke when yeah, you break yeah. that centerpiece yeah. out. Mm -hmm. And it's reasonably sweet. Yeah, right? yeah. And it's not sugar sweet, but it's also not tart. And it's it's very chewable, very palatable. Mm -hmm. you, you, ever, eat you ever eaten a palm weevil uh, larva? They're, no. they, t they taste like coconut. I, I didn't knowingly do yeah, it. Yeah, well, the, the, they actually grow, you know, some of the people grow them as a crop, you know, in Asia, you know, and so the palm weevil. But the the hard part, I tasted one. The hard part is when you bite down on it, yeah, it's popping. Uh, <laughs> the juice goes I everything. found a but they're roach. Very, they, they taste just like coconut. I found a roach okay. about three months ago. I should bring it in. It's in my car. Uh -huh. It's about three inches roach? long. It's the biggest roach I've ever seen in you the mean wild. A palmetto bark. That's what you probably. It's said. a big darn roach. Okay, okay. It's about three inches long. He was dead when I found him, uh -huh. and he's very light, so he's hit already crispy. Crispy. Yeah. It already dried out, and I stuck him on the in front of the passenger seat of my car, kind of where your glove box is. There's a little ledge there. You should set him up on the driver's seat of driving your car. You know, <laughs> <doing well. laughs> and a couple of weeks ago, we were doing our, our staff luncheon, yeah, and, yeah. and Kyla, uh, from my staff, she hopped in the front seat of my car. Ah! I had no earthly idea. She has a deftly fear and discomfort of roaches. <laughs> she flew out of the car at the speed of heat. It was hilarious. And a week or two after that, I was over at a, the funny. Women's Council of Realtor fashion show. Right. And uh, one of the ladies came up to me and she said, I heard you have this monstrous roach in your car. <laughs> and I said, I do. You want to see it? She said, sure. And then I had this parade of people from this fashion show out uh -huh. in the parking lot looking at this giant roach in my car. Oh, and interesting. I, I find hey, it fascinating. Uh, I've seen, I saw a person at the store. They saw a roach. I mean, now I thought they were going to have coronary. Yeah, that's not, that's it's not just reasonable. a roach. <laughs> it's 6 o'clock here at News 104.5 on the Home and Garden Show. We've got Fox News traffic, weather, and more of the Home and Garden Show. And a very special guest coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. WOKV FM and WOKV HD1 Atlantic Beach. Powered by New South Factory Direct Windows. Listen everywhere in the WOKV app. News 104.5 WOKV, a Cox Media Group station. Damage control at Camp David. I'm Pam Puso, Fox News. Acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney will reportedly huddle with Republican lawmakers at Camp David today after undermining the Trump administration's defense in the impeachment probe. On Thursday, Mulvaney essentially acknowledged a quid pro quo with Ukraine that the president has long denied. Mulvaney's initial comments angered senior DOJ officials as well as the president's personal lawyers. In fact, a senior Justice Department official told Fox News if the White House was withholding aid 
made from Ukraine with regard to any investigation by the Justice Department. That's news to us. Fox says John Decker, the impeachment investigation centers on a request to Ukraine by the president to look into former Vice President Joe Biden and his son. The proposed Brexit deal is far from a done deal. Now is the time for this great House of Commons to come together and bring the country together. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson addressing a rare Saturday session of Parliament. Lawmakers could vote yet again to delay a divorce deal from the European Union. Critics argue the proposal would hurt jobs, health care and Britain's commitment to fight climate change. Tens of thousands of United Auto Workers will vote today on a deal to end a General Motors strike. The proposal includes wage increases but does not prevent the closure of three U.S. plants. Strong winds and heavy rain from Tropical Storm Nestor are battering Florida's Gulf Coast. This is going to be making its way onto landfall and then quickly weakening. So we're talking about winds falling back down to closer to 30 miles an hour or so, then becoming a low pressure system before running off the coast of North Carolina. Fox meteorologist Adam Klotz, America's listening to Fox News. Listen every morning at 710 and 840 for the latest on all things D.C. With Washington insider Jamie Dupree. This is where Jacksonville turns first for breaking news. News 104.5 WOKV. I'm Nick Soboleski, a select quote agent with a true story that could save you hundreds of dollars a year. A woman named Linda just called. Her husband, Ray, has a $300,000 group life insurance policy, but is changing jobs and can't take it with him. Well, I shopped the many highly rated term life insurance companies we represent like Prudential and Mutual of Omaha, and found Ray, who is 41 and takes medication to control his cholesterol, a 10-year, $500,000 policy for under $27 a month. That's almost twice the coverage for less than half of what he had paid. If SelectQuote hasn't shopped for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 800-589-5599. That's 800-589-5599. 800-589-5599. Or go to SelectQuote.com. Since 1985, we shop, you save. Get full details on the example policy at SelectQuote.com slash commercials. Your price could vary depending on your health issuing company and other factors. Not available in all states. Don't pay Gold Rhino, go Rhino Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Hey, hey. What's the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Well, same holds true when someone paints their home every few years, expecting the chipping, cracking, and fading to go away. Stop the madness and call Rhino Shield now, and you'll never have to paint again. Rhino Shield, it's not paint. Rhino Shield your home or business and end the paint cycle. Rhino Shield is a three coat system that goes on any home or commercial building exterior. Rhino Shield comes with a 25 year transferable warranty against chipping. Shipping, cracking, or peeling. Call now and receive three years, zero interest financing. Call 904 519 5055. That's 904 519 5055. Or visit us at rhinoshieldjacks.com. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Mom, I've really enjoyed our time together, but I need my own space. I need more room to stretch, to grow. I need to see the world. I mean, I appreciate how nice it is here, but I'm thinking somewhere new, modern, spacious, with a nice view and with great service. A place where all the cool kids go. I'm thinking UF Health North. Yeah, you have Health North. Learn more at north.ufhealthjacks.org slash babies. In an ocean of car dealers, there's only one Atlantic Infinity. The all-new 2020 Infinities are coming in. Most loaded with luxury and convenience that will delight and amaze you with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Delivering exceptional touchscreen command of your email, texts, music, and maps. Now at the one and only Atlantic Infinities new showroom. Call for a test drive. 642-0200. Atlantic Infinity. 10980 Atlantic Boulevard. Follow the wave. 
Did you know you can enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that includes free dental and vision exams? Take advantage of it. With a United Healthcare Medicare Advantage plan, you get more for your Medicare dollar, including benefits like covered comprehensive dental services up to $1,000 from any dentist, vision exam and $200 credit for eyewear, $0 copays for primary care visits, a free fitness membership, $0 prescription drug deductible, and more. Go ahead. Take advantage. Advantage. Talk to a licensed representative today about United Healthcare Medicare Advantage plans at 1 888 248 4624. That's 1 888 248 4624. Or visit uhcmedicare.com. Enrollment ends December 7th. You can see any dentist who accepts Medicare. You'll get greater savings from a network dentist. Benefits and features vary by plan. Limitations and exclusions apply. The WOKV First Alert Forecast. Windy today with on and off heavy showers and thunderstorms. Highs between 80 and 85, a 5 on the WOKV weather meter. Breezy with a lingering shower early tonight, then clearing will drop into the 60s and a mostly sunny and pleasantly warm Sunday. Highs in the low 80s. Monday will be partly cloudy, warmer, more humid with a scattered afternoon shower or thunderstorm. Highs in the low to mid 80s. Tuesday, breezy with scattered showers and storms near 85. And Wednesday, cooler and less humid as we clear out and highs will be in the mid 70s. From the First Alert Weather Center, I'm Action News Jax, Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish for News 104.5 WOKV. Helping to make our community a better place. This is the WOKV Ask the Experts Weekend. Discussing things that matter most to you. Have a question? Have it answered by our local experts. Now, the Home and Garden Show with Wally Conway and Larry O'Neill on News 104.5 WOKV. Good morning. Welcome to the Home and Garden Show. It is 7.07 on a beautiful Saturday morning in Jacksonville, Florida. For those of you just joining us, you're listening to the Home and Garden Show. Home and Garden Show is heard every single Saturday right here on News 104.5. WOKV. The Home and Garden Show features Larry O'Neill yes. from Larry's Garden, who brings us 20 plus years of experience toiling in the soil, making things grow green and structures look beautiful out there, like driveways and pergolas and things like that. Me, Wally Conway from Home Pro Inspections, bringing you 20 plus years of crawling about in attics and crawl spaces to help you sleuth out. Those things that uh, might be bugging you at home and figuring out how to make them mo better. If you'd like to join us, that's what makes the show great fun for us uh, to do. All you need to do is call us at 855-765-1045. We'd be delighted to hear from you. You can also, if you've got a picture you'd like to share with us, you can put that in the live stream on Facebook, the live stream on YouTube, the live stream on LinkedIn, and we'll see that and you can uh, enjoy and, and play with us that way. It's also a great way when you're traveling to uh, stay connected and, and do that with us. So that's a that's a wonderful and beautiful thing. Next weekend, Lawrence, yeah. something special's coming to town. What's I that? love it when it comes to town. In fact, it is the, it's at Jack's Beach. It's the Sea and Sky Air Show. It wow. features wow. the Blue Angels and many cool. other great adventures that, uh, you know, we bring out there. The Blue Angels, I guess you could say, are the signature flight demonstration team in the right. world uh, as a, as a, Former Navy pilot. I think the Air Force would have something to argue with you about. No, that's Air Force's <laughs> second rate. But anyway, it, it's a great way to spend the day. Every other year we flip-flop. One year it's at Jack's Beach. The next year it's at the river. And it's a beautiful way to spend the day. We've uh, invited one of the air show pilots to join us, Jim Record, who is a, a member of the Geico Sky Trippers, flying uh, former Navy SNJ aircraft, a World, World War II vintage aircraft. Jim, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you very much, Wally. How you been? I'm doing good. Over? Good. <laughs> Over to you, too. <laughs> yeah, man. Little Navy talk going in there. We're, we're doing pilot ease. Larry will jump in here with us, too. So hey, Larry. The, the Geico Sky Trippers, you guys are flying SNJs. Give me a little backstory on the history of the SNJ. Yeah, actually, it's the Geico Sky Typers. Sky is in sky and typer is in typewriter. Uh, we could call ourselves that because we put a giant dot matrix message across the sky, the, the uh, and that's what sky typing is as opposed to sky writing. Got it. But the airplane we fly are North American SNJ T6 aircraft. The, these are actually the SNJ2 is really rare. They're early, uh, they're pre-war airplanes, 1939-1940 airplanes. So it was the beginning of the T6 SNJ series. Uh, we've got six of them. We've had them about 40 years. 
Uh, it's a single engine. Uh, uh, it was the advanced training airplane for all Allied forces in World War II. It trained the greatest generation of pilots, and uh, we're real proud to have them. Yeah, that's exciting. That's real exciting. You know, I looked uh, online in preparation to speak to you. I could buy one of those babies for uh, about two hundred grand. I could get one. I can. Wow. I can play too. What a That'd deal. be fun. <laughs> yeah, there are a bunch of them around. It's a really good airplane. Uh, it's a nice. It's a good military airplane. It flies. It's very sensitive. Flies formation really, really well. Uh, like I say, we're proud to have. Them. We're, we're proud that uh, Geico lets us uh, show these grand old airplanes around and teach people about uh, what they did in the war. It's exciting. I, I got to tell you a personal story, Jim. About fifteen or twenty years ago, for my dad's sixty-fifth birthday, he was a a young guy during World War Two. Uh, he was in the Korean War. He was a young kid during World War Two, and his uh, plane of uh, envy was a P fifty one. And I, I bought them an hour in the back seat, or actually they sit in the front seat. I bought them an hour of, of a uh, P-51 flight time from the fellas down in Kissimmee. And that was a, uh, a an event of a lifetime for him. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's a terrific deal, yeah. It was, it was really pretty cool. So I know uh, at the air show there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, the Blues, I guess, are the signature draw. You guys are fantastic. In addition to the Geico Sky Typers, you've got, you're going to have uh, Miss Geico, the... the uh, uh, speedboat out there? Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, Miss Geico, that's a 47-foot uh, offshore race boat, a catamaran manufa manufactured by Victory. 11-time world champion, 4,400 horsepower with two engines. Wow. It's 11,000 pounds a year terror, and we race them three or four times a year. Uh, after our demo, our 18-minute demo, we'll come down, and the two solo pilots will race Miss Geico up and down the beach uh, a number of times. It's, it's a tremendous operation. Those people on the beach who love boats get to see them, and of course the air show people get to see the airplanes. Uh, I'm that same guy, love Jim. To do. I'm that same guy. I love them both. I got a 34 yeah. foot Sea Ray. It's got twin 454 Merc cruisers on it. Wow, all the way open. That's, that's a nice a, boat. That's about 40 gallons an hour, all yeah. the way open. <laughs> do, do you happen to know the fuel <laughs> consumption of Miss Geico? About the Miss Geico must have you know, <laughs> got a leak Man. down there. <laughs> but yeah, I say that your your fuel consumption is about the same as our T sixes. <laughs> nice, nice. What's the top speed of the uh, Miss Geico? They, they get up close to yeah, hundred. Yeah, knots? Miss Geico will do uh, over one hundred and seventy miles an hour. Wow, wow. Yeah, it'll you know obviously it depends on the sea conditions, just sure. like when you're out uh, driving uh, driving your boat around. But uh, when it it races uh, offshore and the sea conditions are right, it will do one hundred and seventy miles an hour. What's the top end of the SNJ? Well, it. Uh, It'll do over 200 miles an hour. I think it's redlined at about 235 or, uh, or so. But uh, so if I'm flying around in an 80-year-old airplane, I don't think I'm redlining that thing. <laughs> well, you know, you say that, but all the engines are, are relatively new. You know, we replace the engines about every three or four years. We overhaul the engines. Um, you know, we have three full-time mechanics. We have a hangar. We keep these airplanes in as good a shape as they were when they left the factory. And they've been modernized. We have glass panels in them. I mean, we have GPS. We oh, have you glass sissy. Panels. Oh, let me tell you. Synthetic vision. We can. Uh, we fly these airplanes back and forth air shows, uh, 15 shows a year. IFR in the clouds. Is that right? Formation. Yeah, just like we did in Navy. What's the average age of the team, Jim? Oh, I would say the average age of the team is probably uh, 45 or 50. Uh, I'd say all of us or most of us are retired military or ex-military uh, a lot of us, most of us are, are Navy pilots, and, and that's kind of cool. Yeah. And um, so we have a lot of formation experience, and uh, this is what we like to do <laughs> when we're out of the Navy. Yeah, that's fun. That's great fun. I've got a buddy that's got a citation. That's about my only uh, flying fix I get any longer. I get to sit up there and act like I'm in a citation. Yeah, funny. It's a funny thing. I have a friend that's got a citation also, and I do the same thing in the right seat. So for uh, for those that would like to come on out in, in the air show, what what time does it start? How long does it run? And if they want to be sure to see the Geico Sky Tippers, Typers. Typers. Hey. Typers. It was your PR person that sent this to me. Sky <laughs> Typers. <laughs> Don't add in people. You can't trust them. So... <laughs> So what time do I need to uh, be sitting on the beach to begin the show? And, and what's the sweet spot to uh, watch you do your magic? Well, actually, the air show hours are from 11 to 4, Saturday and Sunday, October 26th and 27th. Uh, show Center is right there at the Jacksonville Beach Pier parking lot. And that's where the, sh the, the center of the show is going to be. 
<laughs> the, actually, the, the box we fly on is 16,000 feet long, so it, uh, it's a long box. So that's the show center. That's where everything will be happening. Um, I'm not sure what time the Geico Sky Packers will fly, but we fly for 18 minutes, and then uh, we race the boat uh, for another five or six minutes after that. So the only way to be sure not to miss you is to just spend the day and enjoy it. Well, I think that's probably the best thing to do. It's a free air show. There's a lot of vendors and food trucks, and uh, everything that's good about Jacksonville Beach is going to be there. So uh, it'll be a great day. It will. Also, Jim, before I, before I let you go, there. Jim, I need to ask you a personal question. Would that be okay? Go ahead. What's your favorite plant? My favorite plant? God, I don't think I have a favorite plant. <laughs> Me neither. That just goes, see, Navy pilots don't worry about How much this. does it cost to get into the show? Uh, it's a free show, actually. Oh, good. Some, yeah, there are some VIP seating areas there in the parking lot at the, uh, at the Jacksonville Beach uh, Pier parking lot. And there's some charge for that. But as far as the show, it's free. It's right on the beach. Thanks, Jim. What a deal. What hey, a I appreciate you. I appreciate you checking in. I appreciate you continuing that legacy uh, all over the country. That's fantastic. And uh, fly safe. Thank you so very much. Good talking to you, uh, Wally and Larry. You guys take care and have a good day. All right. Thanks. Bye, sir. Well, that Bye-bye. sounds like great fun, doesn't yeah, it? I mean, you can take your family, your kids down there, and your your children would love something like that. I mean, uh, was, was it clear to you that what I was really asking Jim is, yeah. can I get a ride in the back seat of the SNJ? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm an old Navy pilot. I got a buddy that takes me to Citation. You I love to fly. Through that whole I never get to fly anymore. Can you take me out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Didn't take the bait. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. Ah, so what else have we got going on here? Let's take a peek. Well. You know, we're building these borders. You know, we're working on a uh, on a uh, a large border, a large border for a large piece of property, and we're trying to come up with. You know, they don't want to do maintenance on a lot of flowers and stuff, which I don't blame them. You know, you're trying to maintain a four or five hundred foot, you know, border. It's going to be difficult, and uh, you have to have full time gardener. So what we do is what, some great plant combinations that you can use in your in your own home is a combination of those things. Uh, that kind of accentuate each uh, the colors, the foliage, and try to keep it low, a low amount of maintenance. Some plant combinations that we're using, which are going to be spectacular, are going to be the sunshine and the gushroom. Are there plants that enjoy being around a different type of plant? You, know, Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, like, like yeah. does corn uh, there, just like being around corn? There's or does corn flourish if it's near a... There's symbiotic relationships. Yeah, absolutely. What are some... I have to look into that more carefully. But the, I, I have read something about that before, but there is symbiotic relationship. When you find one plant, you're going to find another one. Okay. They just enjoy each other's company. I, that's a great. That's a good. That give me something to kill time this well, week it, with. Well, it could be that <laughs> symbiotic the, the effervescence from one plant causes yeah. bugs not to eat a yeah. dissimilar plant, yeah. or, or or whatever. Willows communicate. They've been proved that willows communicate. What do they, they talk about? They uh, they uh, when it gets eaten by uh, or attacked by a bug or disease, it. Uh, releases uh, pheromones and it uh, or hormones in, in the so area. they know they're under attack. They're under attack. I wonder if they can sort what they're being under attack by. I I I'm not sure about crickets. that. I didn't really, crickets, crickets or bugs, or anything like that from insects. They they do communicate. They've proven that they communicate. So hmm. uh, there's a there's a lot more study being done on that. But uh, I need to. But I do that would give me something to kill time. You know, symbiotic relationship between plants. But uh, plant combinations. Looking at for color uh, and uh, good looks, you know, one of the ones we're using is going to be the sunshine ligustrum, the beauty berry, which is our native plant. It, the reason I like the sunshine ligustrum, it has that beautiful, and you can use this as your own border, your own foundation border. Well, you don't want to have a lot of flowers, but you want to have something colorful, not just one green line after another green line. Sunshine ligustrum is a ligustrum, uh, it's a Chinese ligustrum. Golden, golden foliage, chartreuse, uh, mature leaves, and then beauty berry, which is our native plant, it has that beautiful, be- purple kind of blue. You probably have them in your in your yard. Those berries, that yeah, the they, they're the in a tight cluster. They're right. small, purplish. Just put those in the back. Those cascade yeah. over there make it startling. And I know they don't take any care because right. I don't do anything. Startling contrast and society garlic in front. Like this it. is going to be a dramatic color combination. I will consider that. Right. Seven twenty here at News one zero four five on Home and Garden Show. Brief break. Jumping right back on the phone. Phones to your calls at 855-765-1045. Stay with us. Be right back.
We tell you the three big things you need to know every 15 minutes all day. And when you're not listening to the radio, get them on WOKV.com or in the WOKV app. The three big things you need to know. Brought to you by Safe Touch Security. This is where Jacksonville turns first for breaking news. News 104.5 WOKV. I got my smile back. It'll change your life. I'm Dr. Michael Spencer at Riverside Dental and Implant Center. Thanks to the great WOKV listeners for your fantastic response to our recent advertising. We keep adding to our 20,000 happy patients. So if you have bad teeth, we'll give you your options so you can get them fixed. Implants, dentures that actually fit, and more. Just call us at 1-877-NEW-TEETH for a free exam and consultation. And it won't cost you an arm and a leg. 1-877-NEW-TEETH. Great. The AC Repair Guy is finally here. Good morning. Come on in. Hey, good morning. I'm here to see your husband. Uh, thank you for coming over. You are late, but I'm glad you're here. The AC is just Is your right. husband home? I'm here to talk about your AC unit. I know why you're here. I set the appointment with you. As I told them when I called, my AC unit is just not cool. You know, it might be best if I spoke to the man of the house. Excuse me? You can explain it all to me. I am fully... Uh, you know, I can come back when he's here. You know, I don't think you'd understand my diagnosis. Ugh, your diagnosis? I'm calling Wacoffs. At Wacoffs, they treat everyone with respect. Brian Kilmeade here. Wacoffs will only send a tech to your home that's clean, that's smart and professional. Highly trained to know every possible issue and system. You'll always know the price and details before they start work. As always, Wacoffs is offering their $59 tune-up and great rebates on new systems. Wacoffsac.com. That's Wacoffsac.com. This is Jeff King, Development Director for Rotoheaver Boys Ranch. Rotoheaver Boys Ranch has been advertising on News 104.5 WOKV for over 10 years. I always say that News 104.5 WOKV will give them the biggest bang for their advertising budget. Shop the 904. This holiday season, shop local retailers right here in the 904. When you shop local retailers, you're making an investment in our own community. When you shop locally owned businesses, most of the money you spend with them stays right here in our community. Locally owned and operated businesses give our community character by offering unique options for shopping and dining. They are a big part of what makes living in the 904 so great. Shop the 904! Powered by Cox Media Group. We love our pets. Our furry little friends mean so much to us that we want nothing but the best. At Forever Vets Animal Hospital, we feel the same way too. Forever Vets Animal Hospital understands that you have busy schedules. That's why we're open seven days a week and have extended hours during the work week. In case you have an emergency, remember to stay calm and call Forever Vets Animal Hospital with six convenient locations throughout Jacksonville and St. Augustine. Forever Vets Animal Hospital is here for you and your pet. First-time customers receive a free pet exam from one of our highly trained veterinarians. We also offer wellness plans that fit everyone's budget. Forever Vets Animal Hospital makes life easy for you and your pet. Go to forevervets.com to schedule an appointment. Forever Vets Animal Hospital, keeping your pets healthy and happy forever. This message is sponsored by the Florida A&M University Medical Marijuana Education and Research Initiative, the Florida Association of Broadcasters, and this radio station. Where I'm from, marijuana is legal. Can I use it in Florida? Nah, it's illegal here, man. But I have PTSD. Should I at least try to get medical marijuana? That's legal. But if I were you, I'd talk to my doctor about qualifying conditions and to find out if medical marijuana is even right for you. Thanks. I'll talk to my doctor. For hungry families, for those facing depression, for nearly anyone in need, we're here. We're Jewish Family and Community Services, supporting people of every age, race, and religion. Jewish Family and Community Services. Learn more at hereforjacks.com. The WOKV First Alert Forecast. Windy today with on and off heavy showers and thunderstorms. Highs between 80 and 85, a 5 on the WOKV weather meter. Breezy with a lingering shower early tonight, then clearing will drop into the 60s and a mostly sunny and pleasantly warm Sunday. Highs in the low 80s. Monday will be partly cloudy, warmer, more humid with a scattered afternoon shower or thunderstorm. Highs in the low to mid 80s. Tuesday, breezy with scattered showers and storms near 85. And Wednesday, cooler and less humid as we clear out and highs will be in the mid 70s. From the First Alert Weather Center, I'm Action News Jack's Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish for News 104.5 WOKV. Welcome back to the Home and Garden Show. It's 
725 here on the Home and Garden Show. Larry O'Neill from Larry's Gardens here. Me, Wally Conway from Home Pro Inspections. Love to have you join us at 855-765-1045. Home and Garden Show legend, the third musketeer, Jack from the West Side. Welcome, good buddy. Good morning, there. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing good today, Jack. I got to share a personal thing with you before you uh, bring on your thought. Well, bring it on, sir. I'll try to handle As of it. Next Saturday, sir, we'll be neighbors. Hallelujah! <laughs> well, welcome to the West Side. Welcome to the West Side. Yeah. Are you on the water? Yeah, right there on the Ortega River, Ortega River Boulevard. What mm-hmm. you'll need to do, you'll need to turn that hot wire on around your yard, or you may discover citrus evaporating from your your yard. <laughs> Question of the day, sir. And man, again, welcome to the West Side. That's the best side. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm working on a sore tooth, so I'm kind of staying close to the house today. I got to get a dentist to take care of root canal on Monday, so staying close. Got a question there. I need, I'm getting the weeds out from under my uh, citrus trees. Mm-hmm. Can I cover them with mulch, keep the weeds down there? No, you're not supposed to because, you know, it's they get a particular fungus. And, it, and, you know, and you can get away with it maybe a couple of years, but when the right conditions get, they'll get this fungus right at the base. So what, what's a great way to do weed suppression under a citrus knowing it's inedible? The best way yeah. to do weed yeah. suppression under a citrus tree is to take and put about two inches of black cow or compost over the top. It's going to do two different things. It's going to, you know, enrich the soil and you're going to put a weed barrier because the... the nitrogen load is so high? No, no. The, it's because it's a physical barrier. Ah, it chokes it out. It's It blocks the light. So, and you're put the physical barrier you're putting in is sterile because, you know, composting, it has to be uh, raised up to about 150 degrees, 120 degrees over a period of time, and that's usually going to sterilize all of the soil and make sure that it's there's no weed seed in it. So if you could put, uh, get some planting mix, go to Home Depot and go to Lowe's, you know, and get some uh, planting mix and top dress it or compost and top dress it and uh, mix mill, maybe a little bit of mill organite in there that will add a little bit of more nutrients to it and put around inch layer uh inch and a half layer over the top around your around your citrus tree area you should uh knock out down the weeds and then when the because what's going to happen is that that compost is going to degrade and it's going to go into the soil and then you could do a little bit more next time or you could rake it out a little bit if it's getting too high and then put some more in next time every about but yeah i would say i do it every about every four months and if I could type, if I could write stuff down that fast, I'd be in business. I'd be a snob someplace. <laughs> Weed whack it, rake it, cover it in a deep layer of black cow. Yeah, right, right. You know, and this, you okay, know, it's good time. Cow, I, you know, it, mill organite, I was going to question about the dogs getting into that. Yeah, yeah, you know, the dogs are like that. It's a good time right now if you had to fertilize. If you have daylilies, if you have daylilies and you really love your daylilies, uh, this is a good time to take just some ornamental, uh, general ornamental, in about two or three cups of meal organite on your, and you can get that at Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, or general or your local garden center, and. Uh, you know, put that around your daylilies. Uh, organic fertilization in, in the fall, you know, you're going to get some spectacular results on your daylilies. I mean, how I discovered this one time, I, we were working on a property and doing the maintenance, and I told a guy to put out mill organite on such and such a plant, and uh, he didn't follow directions, and he put it out on the daylilies. And, and the next year, I go... Oh my God! What did you do? <laughs> and I looked at those dailies look phenomenal, you know. So uh, I looked up what he did, and that's uh, exactly what it, you know. People were calling and wondering why the dailies look so spectacular. But that's uh, a good thing to do on any of your perennials. A little bit of water, organic uh, uh, fall fertilizer. And I was reading university studies proved out that that'd be the case too. Well, I guess uh, everybody finds an acorn someplace, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Hey, most of the scientific uh, uh, things happen by chance. You know, just got to be in the in the line of action. You got to be out in the middle of doing something, trying to figure it out, and then you stumble into it. Jack, have a beautiful day, sir. We'll see you soon. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a great day now. Uh-huh. It's seven thirty here at News one hundred four five on the Home and Garden Show. We've got Fox News traffic, weather, and more of the Home and Garden Show featuring you.
at 855-765-1045. Stay with us. Right back. This is where Jacksonville turns first for breaking news, severe weather, and traffic alerts. News 104.5 WOKV. Find us on the iHeartRadio app. Listen every weekday morning from 5 until 9 a.m. for the latest breaking news. The exclusive five-day forecast from Action News Jack's first alert chief meteorologist, Mike Burris. And get triple team traffic every six minutes. Everywhere you go, listen using the iHeartRadio app for Apple and Android. Fox News, I'm Ann Carrick. The Brexit deal has members of Parliament gathered for a rare Saturday meeting. The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, strike a deal with the European Union, now urging members to vote on the deal. Now is the time for this great House of Commons to come together and bring the country together today. The deadline is October 31st. Tropical Storm Nestor being blamed for at least three tornadoes in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, There's certainly the potential for... A few more tornadoes, not only uh, through the remainder of the morning in Florida, but uh, uh, this evening and tonight across coastal Georgia and coastal Carolina's areas. Meteorologist Roger Edwards with the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center. Florida's Gulf Coast looking at up to five feet of storm surge. America's listening to Fox News. Now, local news from CBS 47, Fox 30 Action News Jacks. I'm Action News Jack's anchor, Lorena Inkland, for News 104.5 WOKV, our top story. Right now, a local Navy officer remains in federal custody. Agents say Lieutenant Fang Yang and his wife illegally helped a Chinese national purchase firearms and then lied about it to the FBI. Yang is charged in a scheme that used a shell company to smuggle goods from the U.S., A former Kingsland police officer was sentenced to one year in prison and four years probation. Action News Jacks told you almost two weeks ago when Zechariah Presley was found guilty of violating his oath. He was acquitted of manslaughter in the shooting death of Tony Green. Action News Jacks this morning continues till 10 on Fox 30. You can watch our live stream by downloading our app right from your phone. Looking for a different lunch experience? Come dine with us on Fridays at Clara's at the Cathedral. Located at 256 East Church from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Treat yourself weekly to an upscale menu, live entertainment, and fellowship with friends and colleagues you don't want to miss. Call and reserve your seat or table today at 354-4162 or log on to clarawhitemission.org. All proceeds benefit the Clara White Mission. Ace is celebrating their 95th birthday with sale prices for you. Ace pleated air filters, assorted sizes, buy two, get one free. Bird seed, just $9.99 per bag for 40 pounds of wild bird food. Or 20 pounds of black oil sunflower seed. Fortify your turf from the cold with Fertilone Winterizer, now $17.99 per bag. Shop the 95th anniversary sale abrasion at your neighborhood Ace. For additional sale items, visit jacksace.com. Get it delivered by shopping at acehardware.com. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Wally Conway here, Mr. Home Inspection from Home Pro Inspections with important information about home warranties. At Home Pro Inspections, we have always recommended that every home buyer had a home inspection and a home warranty. It's much like having a physical exam and health insurance. They work together to protect you. Until now, I have never referred or endorsed a home warranty company because, truthfully, they were all about the same. They were only good for 12 months, they had long list of coverage exclusions, and they denied pre-existing conditions. The most comprehensive home warranty in America is now available in Jacksonville, covering items denied by others, including water softeners, well pumps, alarm systems, and there's no extra charge for multiple heat pumps or water heaters. When Home Pro inspects your home, the warranty is extended to 18 months of coverage at no extra charge. There is no better inspection and warranty package in America. For details and to order your home warranty, visit GoHomePro.com GoHomePro.com or call me at 268-8211. It's Rich Jones. There are so many reasons to buy only from Arlington Toyota. The $5,000 Advantage Club, national lifetime warranty with unlimited time and miles for new purchases. And now, even better, you want to hear something really crazy? Prices up to 50% less on remaining 2019 Toyotas. Yeah, they are extending this sale now at Arlington Toyota. The 2020 Supra Sales Event extended now at Arlington Toyota, 10939 Atlantic Boulevard and at ArlingtonToyota.com. Pay up to 50% 
percent less on remaining 2019 Toyotas. A pre-owned 2019 Toyota Highlander now at Arlington is just 24,688. Or a Toyota Rav4 pre-owned 2019, 21,888. Yeah, pre-owned 2019 Toyota Rav4 at Arlington Toyota for 21,888. Head to ArlingtonToyota.com/supersavings for offer details and some of the other awesome pre-owned vehicles that you can get today when you visit Arlington Toyota at 10,939 Atlantic Boulevard. Always at ArlingtonToyota.com. As a homeowner in Northern Florida, I understand how important my roof is. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Kilmeade. Here with my friend Taylor Albright from J&M Roofing. You know them. They're the guys with the umbrella, and they've got you covered. Hey, Taylor, tell us what makes J&M Roofing different. At J&M Roofing, we focus on your roof as a complete roofing system. A roof is more than just shingles. We take the time to identify how to give you the best possible roofing solution specific to your situation. J&M Roofing. Find them online at J. A-N-D-M-Roofing.com. Join forces with Operation New Uniform by purchasing a ticket to their sixth annual Heroes Gala with special guest Oliver North. Hi, I'm Oliver North, and I'm recruiting you to join me at Operation New Uniform's sixth annual Heroes Gala on November 8th. Come with me to honor our military servicemen and women and enjoy a night to remember. Purchase your ticket today at OperationNewUniform.org. That's OperationNewUniform.org. Brought to you by Wake Off's Air Conditioning. When your AC breaks, we get there fast. Now, the WOKV First Alert Forecast. Windy today with on and off heavy showers and thunderstorms. Highs between 80 and 85, a 5 on the WOKV weather meter. Breezy with a lingering shower early tonight, then clearing. will drop into the 60s and a mostly sunny and pleasantly warm Sunday. Highs in the low 80s. Monday will be partly cloudy, warmer, more humid with a scattered afternoon shower or thunderstorm. Highs in the low to mid 80s. Tuesday, breezy with scattered showers and storms near 85. And Wednesday, cooler and less humid as we clear out, and highs will be in the mid-70s. From the First Alert Weather Center, I'm Action News Jack, Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish. For News 104.5 WOKV. 737 here at News 104.5 on the Home and Garden Show. Grateful that you have been with us. Yeah. I'm Wally Conway from Home Pro Inspections. Larry O'Neill from Larry's Garden is here. Love to hear from you at 855-765-1045. Next Saturday, amigo, yeah. I will have moved. The renovation of our 50-plus-year-old condo will be basically complete. And it's been interesting shopping contractors. And, mm-hmm. and I have an unfair advantage. After 35,000 home inspections as a company, and we're always seeing things that, that need to be done in houses and follow up with re-inspections, I have a pretty good insight and opportunity that most people don't to choose great contractors. I've been fortunate in that way. One among greats of the greatest are friends at Affordable Water, Affordable Water Jacks, Mark Kinder, and his family and staff over there. People often ask me, well, like, why? How and why, when you're choosing contractors to work in your own home or you're choosing contractors to refer to your customer base, how do you make that choice? Well, specifically, I'll tell you how it is with affordable water. They've been at it for 30 years. I've known the company the whole 25 years that we've been in business at HomePro, and you've likely known them about as long. They are licensed professionals. Anyone can sell you a water treatment piece of gear. But there is a specific license for that. Affordable water, Mark Kinder, license number 32. 30 freaking two. That means he's on the top of the tree. I'm 407 in the home inspection universe. That's pretty cool out of Mm 12,000. He's 32. Mm -hmm. Master water specialist. That's a a very rare designation. And and then because they have that level of, of skill and license and experience, you're in a consultive environment. So they'll test your water for you to determine what is for free, no charge, exactly what its present condition is. You got 20 minutes of time, they'll come over there and test it for free. Doesn't take long at all. And then after testing it and listening to how you feel about your water, they'll prescribe options to make it how you want it. And and some of that has to do with outcomes, some of that has to do with the budget, and you can make a choice and, and choose either way that you like. And they'll also share with you how these technologies work, specifically the softening of water, that is the removal of hardness, can only physically be done one way. I have a degree in physical science from U.S. Naval Academy. 
Mark is an expert at this technology. And when he shares it, I'm like, dude, that makes perfect sense. The only way to have soft water to remove hide- hardness is with an ion exchange. Right. That ion exchange, it, the ions that are exchanged need to be removed from the medium uh, on a certain cycle, every week or two or three. It depends on the system. And that exchange, that cleansing, that regeneration of the system occurs with salt. So the salt is not softening the water. The salt is used essentially for simple terms to cleanse the system right. so that it can remove more hardness. The, the, there is a, a, a minuscule amount of salt that does go into the water. It's basically not much. irrelevant. It right. doesn't irrelevant. matter. So it's important that you get, when you're considering any treatment of your water, whether it's it's filtering, reverse osmosis, or softening, whatever it is, that you get precisely what you want, precisely what you need, based on an educated, consultative approach to understanding water. I don't know of any place else to get that level of performance and service other than affordable water jacks. Yeah, i saying get off those drinking water uh, 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 merry-go-round. You know what I mean? You can oh, bottled water? Bottled water. Yes. Yeah. Bottled water silly. $3 a bottle. Bottled you know? water you can get it, silly. Get it in your own home. They're just taking it right out of the... I was reading an interesting article about they're just taking it right out of the you know, city water. Yeah, the majority is tap water. Yeah, right. And then they filter yeah. it or treat it. They filter it and then they try to... They may even it. be softening it. I, I think... Yeah, uh, I forget not. how much a percentage profit they make on it. So it's huge. outrageous. It's huge. But, Let's go over and check in with Susie and Mandarin, who's hunting for milkweed plants. Welcome, Susie. Thank you. Yes, native milkweed. Where can you buy it in the area? Because the milkweed that you get at a garden center is not native, and it has a little parasite on it that Ethan, eats the Ethan. eggs of the monarchs. Yeah. Well, the native milkweed, uh, where can you get it? I would say... Yeah, where can you purchase it? Yeah, yeah. There is a native plant store uh, nursery in St. Augustine. Also, there's Maggie's Herbs, and that's in. Uh, that would be the only place I could think of. I love Maggie's. I know herbs. what you're talking about. The native. There's okay there's now. Native, native is, milkweed. Is that the name of it? Native plant store. No, 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 no. There's there's one you'll have to Google it. But uh, Maggie's Herbs carries a lot of those unusual herbs like that so uh you may want to check with her and they're in she's in st john's county maggie's herbs okay way south on 13 yeah way south on 13 like Uh, how far down to um uh, almost to the end of 13 right it's down toward um bass haven palomo down that way right okay it's on the left heading south can't miss it Okay, you, and there's you can an also eight. go online. There's a lot of, you know, if you're looking for, if you know the variety of the species name, then you can go online and buy it online. There's there's a lot of online uh, garden, uh, gardening. Uh, the, the, gardening in St. Augustine, that's the name of that, uh, I believe, is Southern Horticulture. Right. They're on A1A. Okay. South. Yeah. Okay. All right. And do you, and Larry, do you use milkweed in your landscaping? We use Eclipsis tuberosa, which is, you know, in our landscaping. But uh, that that's a that's a pretty nice plant actually. The real attraction is the monarch butterflies. Right. The the Eclipsis tubero, tuberosa is a, a very very good plant. Very good plant. Yeah. Tough. Yeah, you want it you want to attract the butterflies. And it grows in sandy soil and a beautiful flower. Uh, it's a really, really great plant. It's very underused. I don't know why people don't use it because it's very, very reliable. It comes back. Is it a years. perennial? Yes, yeah, perennial. Okay, spell that, please. Oh, this will uh, be fun. Oh, no. Nah. Don't you know it's against the rules to ask me to spell something? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Eclipsis and then tuberosis, T U. Um, t- I'll B- work on it. Ro- <laughs> R-O-S-A, tuberosa. I guess that's it. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, A-C, Eclipsus. How do you got that? A, it starts with A. It starts with A. It starts with A. Well, it's uh, A-C-E, 
uh, P- eclipses? No, L i p s e something like eclipse. Eclipses a- 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 to the rosa. A s yeah, a s c e p l s i s. Okay, well, I got, time. You're gonna have to work on this on your own, Susie. I, I I got the gist of it. And what what is it? Is it a um, how how big a plant is it? How it much space get very is big, it? Big around two feet tall. Very, very controlled grower. We planted like uh, a couple hundred in one landscape, and they just did spectacularly. And then sand. They'll grow in pure sand almost. You know, they they can grow in extremely dry areas and, and do well. Okay, but then what if it's um, what if it's wet? Do they grow in the wet? It's, it's tolerates moisture. As long as it's not completely soggy, but, I mean, it tolerates moisture. Okay. Eclipsis tuberosa. Right. Okay, I'll look that up. Yeah. Okay, and it starts with an A. So A S C E. Not eclipse, like eclipse no. of the sun. As clips. As clips. As clips. A S then. A S. Maybe. All right, Susie. Okay. You have All a right. Thank you, day. gentlemen. Thank All you right. very much. You too. Uh, bye bye. Check okay. in soon. I, I wasn't you. the number one guy in the spelling bee. I went down in the first round. <laughs> Uh, shall, I, <laughs> shall I explain Spell surprise? Oh, let me think about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Since we're uh, already in Mandarin, let's check in with Robert and uh, see what's up with his mosquito situation. Okay. Welcome, Robert. Good morning. I just want to say thank you to you guys. It's probably been two or three months ago now. I was listening, and somebody called in with a mosquito problem. And one of you mentioned a misting system. Uh-huh. And so I told my wife about it, and uh, she has a Ph.D. in medical science. Uh And so she researches stuff to death. And uh, anyway, our our pool, we had a a screen put over it, and we asked the screen builder, you know, would it keep out the little no-see-em gnats? And he said no, and we we asked for the screen that would, and he said, well, the wind resistance on it is so high, I don't think you'd be happy with it because it'd get damaged, so... We went with the other screen, and those little gnats come right through it like it's not even there. Right, right. And, and just eat us alive. So we basically spent about $35,000 for a worthless screen. And uh, anyway, my wife did all, a bunch of research and found a company called Mosquito Nix, mm-hmm. yeah. um, N-I-X. Right. And they have a formula that is 100% safe for everything right. except for the biting bugs. Right. Uh, I mean, we have a butterfly garden that didn't even kill the butterflies, but wow. it kills all the bats and mosquitoes. And um, even even the deer flies, I mean, it, it, it's amazing. Uh, they say that, I mean, it goes off at night, so we don't ever even see yeah. it go off. It but they say it kills, it kills the breeding system, the uh, breeding cycle, they say, so mm-hmm. that they, they don't grow in your yard. But, I mean, heck, you can eat a hot dog under the thing. I mean, right. it's just this. It's, it's certified amazing. for hot dog eating. Yeah. Now so I'm hot, you spray it on your hot dogs. What's well, your favorite it hot dog? It's like almost immediately. Is it pyrethrin based? Yeah, yeah pyrethrin based. It degrades no, almost no, it's immediately. Not. It's not pyrethrin it based. Yeah. No, it's not. What's it, the uh, chemical base? Uh, she looked it all up, but it is not pyrethrin. Okay. That, most that of, burns, most like, of them use pyrethrin. No, Mosquito Nix has got a formula that the Department of Agriculture just approved for them like two years ago. Okay. They claim to be the only one that has it because uh, there are other non-toxics out there, but they just drive the bugs away. Mosquito Nix is non-toxic, actually kills the bugs in the breeding cycle, but it doesn't burn the plants like uh, some of the uh, Parisians and I think, uh, oh shoot, what was that flower? There was another flower that one of the companies used. Uh, chrysanthemums, uh, magnolia, uh, marigolds. Or the- yeah, chrysanthemum. That, right. So they don't use any of that stuff. So anyway, uh, if you want to save yourself a ton of money on a worthless screen enclosure, you know, I, I, <laughs> I, I can't endorse it. The pool is much that. nicer when you don't have a screen enclosure, I think. You know I mean? think, well, yeah, for one thing, it makes the water cold as heck. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize it was going to do that, and uh, and it blocks the view. And uh, right. I mean, all, all that for only thirty-five thousand. I'm from California. 000. We don't even use. Uh, <laughs> we don't have screen enclosures. I didn't know what screen enclosures was until I came out here. But yeah, yeah. If you put that system yeah. out, you put it in. You time it, and uh, you can put it on a, on a timer. It will come on when you're predominantly out there. It's uh, very efficient. 
Well, I, th- the way they do this, when they, they time it so you're not out there, I think ours goes off 6 in the morning and uh, 9 at night and 11 at night, I believe. Oh. Mm-hmm. And and it does have a remote, though, so if, if you can turn like, a swarm of bugs comes through, you can hit the remote and it'll go off for, like, 45 seconds or right. something. Does it have but, a uh, smell? Can you smell it? No, you can't. Um uh, I mean, I've literally stood under it while it's misting. You can't, you can't smell it. It smells like water. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just floored by how well yeah. it works. We we installed them before ourselves. Yeah, so we've uh, been very familiar with them. Well, Robert, thanks for sharing. I'm glad no, you're happy you. with it, Bye. and uh, you have a beautiful day. All right, thank you. Bye, sir. 7.50 here at News 104.5 on the Home and Garden Show. Brief break, jumping back for the final segment of the Home and Garden Show featuring you at 855-765-1045. Stay connected with the WOKV app. Listen to News 104.5 WOKV anytime, anywhere. Get the latest breaking news and share your thoughts using the open mic. It's simply the best. Download the News 104.5 WOKV app now. This is where Jacksonville turns first for breaking news, weather, and traffic. News 104.5 WOKV. In an ocean of car dealers, there's only one.